Now that the bay is painted, it's time to start putting stuff back together. And one of the things I did was 3D print these little TPU grommets. That way I don't cut wires or hoses on, uh, on those holes. And there's one on the second level of holes down in it. Um, but those should help a lot. And then I just replaced my 3D printed fuse panel bracket with the one from Send Cut Send with a couple rivet nuts in it. And that looks mighty fine. So now I'm gonna move to down here and replace the ABS module bracket with the new one from Send Cut Send. I got the ABS bracket from Send Cut Send. I got a little brace onto the side just because the way I designed it, there's no way to bend all of that. It's gonna have to weld somewhere. So let's get it welded. All right, I've just got a one, two, three block and my bracket both sides. I'm gonna get these cleaned off with some acetone. Clean off my, ooh, that paper towel's pretty good. Clean off <clears throat> my tungsten and my filler rod. And hopefully I still remember how to melt stainless together. Whoa, that's so gross just from sitting in the garage. Uh, for reference, my welder is just a like 2016 TH or AHP welder. It's, it's super old, um, but it does work for the once <laughs> once every quarter or so welding project I do. All right, so I'm gonna use the one, two, three block right up against here, and I want the bracket to overlap both sides or the brace to over. Lap both sides of the bracket just a little bit so it's not completely a butt weld just so it doesn't look terrible and this should be pretty good there's a little bit of a gap on the top uh, just from the bend relief I guess I don't, I don't know why it's as big as it is it shouldn't be but here we are so that looks pretty good let me grab my helmet and tack it in place so I am by no means a professional welder whatsoever, so this is not going to be a, you know, super fancy, here's how to TIG weld, I'm going to post pictures all over the internet about it, but it's certainly going to be functional and it probably won't look that bad. Alright, we got one tag, another one. welded <laughs> and to the table apparently so that's really cool and to the one two three block what the heck oh how, where's my ground oh my ground is on the table so that's interesting oh no I'm just an idiot <laughs> whoops well, that's cool. Pretty hardy tech weld, apparently. Like I said, I'm not a professional at all, and I think that's pretty obvious now. So, I'm gonna go around and stitch weld this in a couple little sections, and we'll see how it turns out. Alright, that looks pretty colorful. Yay! Purdy, post all the pictures online.
Oh, look, even the gap weld turned out pretty nice. Look at that. Let's keep it going. Looks like penetration's okay, kind of, sure. Alright. That doesn't look half bad. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, oh yeah, not the best penetration. A little bit. Definitely a good enough reason to use the word penetration, but... Alright. Let's do this one. Alrighty. Yay, a bracket. Welded. It still looks kind of flat, so that's cool. You can see there's some penetration in there. It looks okay. This is definitely structural enough for what it's for. And honestly, I don't think it looks that bad, so it's probably going to stay just like this. So, I got one more welding project I'm about to do, and then I'll get this bolted onto the car, swapped out for that 3D printed guy that's on there. Alright, this bracket turned out pretty sweet. Very similar, you know, uh, style to the original bracket that used to be in the engine bay, but um, the bend from Sun Cut Sun was pretty, pretty easy. Uh, and then I welded on the little side piece, and that turned out pretty decent. So, I'm going to... I think install the ABS module onto the bracket first just so I can make sure the grommets go through the holes and then I'll bolt the bracket on. I got some Loctite to help hold that into the rivet nuts just because this is, you know, ki kind of important. <laughs> See some of the 3D printed bracket remnants for where I broke it apart, but put a little, little lube for your rubbers. Alright, so three grommets in the hole, boom. And then slide the ABS module through the front ones. And, oh, it pulled the front ones out. Come on, man. Oh, there we go. Push those down in. All right, so now I'm in the bottom one, the front ones. Module's held in place on the bracket. That's not, that ain't going nowhere. Throw some Loctite on the first bolt and put it into the rib nut. And three. And there you have it. There's a relocated ABS module. Pretty slick. I'm gonna go ahead and reattach this heat shield here. I'm probably gonna have to take it out again when I take out and redo the fuel lines, but uh, I wanna get it here, that way when I roll the motor and transmission in, it's not, it's not in the way. And it'll cover up the nice seam between the original paint and what I just did. So I think there's just a couple, ugh, find them here in my bucket, <laughs> a couple little self-tapper looking dudes. I think I'm gonna strip off some more of this uh, wire harness tape because a lot of that's gonna get rewrapped and kind of rerouted. <laughs> I 
I even remember telling myself that uh, I need to attach this connector to this before I bolt it in. And I didn't do that. So. Now I gotta take it out real quick. Attach the connector. And it really sucks that I actually spent a lot of time on this connector. The, uh, the plastic top hat here used to face that way, and so it actually would have put the wires, the wires coming out down. So I took this whole piece off, flipped it around, put it back in the connector. That sounds like it wasn't a lot of work, but that was probably like 30 minutes of playing with that connector to figure out how it came apart. And I'm not even stupid. So imagine if someone else would have done that. Okay. Right there. Oh, there we go. You just gotta go out of the out of the bracket backwards, which is the hardest way to do it. All right, push that in. Look at that. So flipped the connector orientation. So now it shoots up, which is good. Put these grommets back on. But yeah, so I'll be able to wrap these all up nice and tight like this, right? And take out all this slack, fix some of these wires that have gotten nicked. Um, yeah, and just clean that up a whole lot more. But dude, this looks so good down here. So good. Cool, cool. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I thought I went this way. Dude, look at that, dude. That's so clean. Once this wiring cleaned up and the ECU's above it, man, dude. This, oh, man. Man, that's gonna be so clean. I'm very, very excited. A Little bit of a shorter video this week. Uh, I've got a lot of catching up to do from the holiday weekend. I ran a sale on the website, so I'm busy catching up on orders. Also, the garage is a mess and I'm gonna spend the rest of the time I normally would be editing the video to kind of clean that up to make my life a little bit easier. So, thanks for watching. Engine base coming along next week. The motor definitely going back in. I mean, it's already in, but video wise. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, get some merch, whatever. Uh, I'm Zach, this is IPF Racing. Thank you for watching.